Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Beautiful landscapes, painted across the drapes, based across the place of this world. Iced mountains, some too deadly to conquer. Though they remain untouched, they're beautiful for something in all their splendour. The somewhat spontaneous growth of plants contain and adhere to so much mathematical order, like space, leaves, staggered trees, spiralling, permitting optimum sunlight. Are they exhibiting a fight for life? Or are they exhibiting how to be gloriously content? Responding to the great fiery star, an order to photosynthesize, to breathe their own life, creating O2, so we can breathe in our life, absorbing that too. Contorting, contracting and growing. The tubular branches soaking up, breathing deep within the soil of our chests. Eventually microscopic. Air rushes into tiny sacks and pockets without our brains even bringing it to our conscious. There's 86 billion electrically excitably charged cells well up with chemical signals, firing them up so that we can speak, we can tell, hold hands, perceive and believe, so we can walk, we can talk, we can swallow, breathe and see. Eyes detecting and converting lights into electrical chemical impulses, distinguishing shapes and colours as we take pleasure in the magnificent lights bending in the sky's horizons, illuminating the droplets as streaks of colour appear and bend with the Earth's curve. But say our world was a little to the left, or shifted off course to the right, the magnetic force wouldn't be right. We'd be exposed to harmful radiation, freeze from the cold or not enough light. We will die without the light. We are in just the right place at just the right time. I'm not superstitious. Scientifically, our planets and stars are so perfectly aligned that the fight for life in these conditions means we can survive. We can choose to exist or live an abundant life. I don't have many answers, and the ones I do, some would disagree. But I know we got here out of intimacy. The most physically close humans can be. There was a one in 40 million chance it would be you that was born. Two little cells made you. Look at you. You know oxytocin and dopamine? They're two hormonal chemicals released during birth, which means mothers connect with their babies, and a euphoric state of love literally courses through their veins, a love chemical that conquers the sheer exhaustion and labour pains. A love that conquers pain. There's so much we can explain, but why do we need to love and receive it all the same? <laughs>